This week, we are discussing apathy and diligence. This is another opportunity to remove a vice and replace it with a virtue. Apathy, just like any of the vices we will talk about, can and will kill your faith if you allow it to. The struggle is that apathy is not talked about in the same light as pride, lust, anger, drunkenness, and many of the other vices. It slips into our life silently, and before we know it, we become apathetic. The book states this about apathy. We consider apathy just a cuddly, fluffy struggle. We think, oh yeah, I'm just a little apathetic. The season is really busy. I have lots of stuff going on. I'm not really reading the word. It's just hard for me right now. My community has to take second place. My small group is hard. I'll be back in the full swing of it soon. We don't realize that this will kill us and destroy our faith. Apathy is dangerous and serious. Apathy is what's going to get you to the end of your life and cause you to realize, I did nothing of eternal importance. The issue is that if we allow ourselves to drift, we will not drift towards God. We drift towards apathy every time. So we need the virtue of diligence. Diligence will allow us to take control of our lives and draw closer to God. Diligence is actively choosing the things of God. Diligence means choosing to discipline ourselves in the ways of God, to be disciplined in prayer and scripture, even when it is hard and when it stretches us. Apathy will tell us to push it aside, that it's okay to stop, but diligence will cause us to keep striving forward. We must take up responsibility for our faith. We must discipline ourselves for godliness. We must be diligent about being in the word. We must be diligent in prayer. Only in our diligence when we overcome our apathy. As you discuss apathy and diligence, think about and discuss these questions. How do you struggle with apathy in your life? Who is the most spiritually diligent person you know? What stands out to you about their life? Is it something you can emulate? And how can you take steps to grow in diligence today?